Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to dominate on Assassin Lethality Master Yi. On hit Master Yi is still generally better, but if the enemies have multiple squishies for you to completely capitalize on, then you can make use out of it. Their team in this particular game has triple tank. So in this one, technically going on hit Yi with Kraken Slayer and uh, Rage Blade would be better, but I'm gonna be doing Lethality for you guys so you can see how it looks and get a feel for it in terms of clear route it's still the same on master Yi. you five camp clear in a scuttle fight if you don't want to scuttle fight you just six camp clear and then gank then reset against nunu i do want to scuttle fight he's likely to start with his bot lane for the best leash possible so all five camp clear red golems raps wolves blue into fighting him on raptor i'm i mean fighting him on scuttle at that point and hopefully killing him we're gonna auto attack we're gonna queue to dodge its auto and we're going to try to kite it down to our golems. Master Yi's clears are shockingly healthy here in preseason 11. You don't really need to even use a potion, which is kind of nasty. I'll show you. At the end of the clear, we'll be pretty much full HP without even using a potion. You generally want to use your E after you've used your Q when fighting the monsters, because if you E then Q, you're wasting part of your E duration since you are... Uh, not able to auto attack while you're in your mid queue. All right, I'm gonna push up towards our Raptors. Against Raps, you just generally want to kite back away from them, take as little damage as possible. We're gonna auto it twice, and then we're gonna Q, use our E. And I'm just gonna kite away from the bulk of it. I'm gonna kill at least one little one. And you may say, well, why aren't you killing the rest of the little ones? I'm just gonna let my Q do that. Generally, you need to kill at least one little one though because your Q can't hit the whole camp. There's too many of them. Your Q only spreads to four other targets. So that's the thought behind that. We're actually not gonna get our meditate yet. We don't really need it. It's just gonna slow down our clears. We're better off just having another point in our Q. Wolves, it's kind of the same thing. Since your clears are so healthy, you can just let the second stroke of your Q wipe the rest of the camp. Looks like Noon is gonna push down here for the top scuttle like we thought. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go fight him on that. It's not up till 3.15, so we should have time. It's going for it right now. Yeah, I, I assume he has his smite, but I'm gonna take this. Malphite can't rotate. He has less HP than Mundo. I'll go ahead and use a refill here. I'm gonna use my E now. I'm gonna use my Q to stay on top of him. He outsmited me. If I would've smited that, this would've been really free. Gonna kill on top of him, get the kill. And uh, I couldn't quite get to anything. If I would've played that just a little bit better and smited the scuttle before him to kill it, he wouldn't have had the scuttle to heal off of, but we do get the double kill there. I used my Q to dodge the Nunu snare there. All right, so we are gonna go straight into our Dusk Blade. We need to leave the base. We can't sit here for too long. We have our control ward. We can push out for bottom scuttle, but I'd rather go to my golems first. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our meditate. Getting two points in your Q speeds up your clear, and it also makes your 1v1 a lot stronger. Unless you're heavily relying on a teammate, your meditate in most 1v1s are really, really useless early game. That was the general thought process, but uh, you don't really want to get your meditate any later than level 4. By level 4, you're going to want it. You're going to have a lot of team situations where it's going to keep you alive. And I can outheal the Nunu's tank damage. There, I actually kind of wish I had it, because I could have maybe survived the Zed to make time for my LeBlanc. But whenever you're gonna do a true six camp clear, I only did a five camp. Whenever you do six camp clear, you're always gonna take two points in your queue before you get your meditate, because you don't even need your meditate to stay healthy in the jungle. Ooh, LeBlanc just died, that's unfortunate. She had double buffs. I don't know how that happened. She must've just stayed in lane, super low HP. Looks like Nunu's bot side. I'm gonna go hit Wolves. Oof, this game's taking a turn for the worst. Zed can easily collapse on that, and he's level 6. From the LeBlanc, she's guaranteed dead, 100%. Zed just got his R. I can't save her. There's just no way. I would go over there, but with Zed having his R and now Zed having double buffs, it's just not it's not doable. I'm going to try to push into Nunu's jungle. I'm assuming Zed's going to back because he's sitting on a lot of gold. Like he can stay, but... 
Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Nunu may be on dragon right now. He's missing. Get my pink in the bush. Zed's R is on a cooldown. I'm going to try to leave one Raptor. This way the camp doesn't respawn. I can't gank this. Zed's full HP. She's almost dead. If I come, she's likely to die anyways. And then Zed's going to get away. Like you see there, it nearly just happened. And he didn't even have to commit to it. Tragic. Gonna go ahead and pick up these golems. And try to get level 6. Our lanes in general are struggling right now. So we just need to try to get level 6 so we can carry this. I'm going to do my uh, my Gromp, Wolves, and I'll farm it into my red buff here. I got his wraps and his golems. He got an early dragon. doesn't matter that much. Losing two of your camps for an early dragon isn't the greatest trade in the world for him. He's going to miss out on a lot now. His level 6 is going to be delayed. Looks like he's pushing back towards his blue buff. Or he's going mid. A block. Ooh, she might actually die from that. If that had an R, she would have definitely died there. Nunu may be going into my red buff. Not 100%. He could be going to uh, his blue or my red. Couldn't really help LeBlanc. She put herself in a hole where Zed's just basically pouring poop on her. He's, he's just throwing rocks down in the hole. And we, we can't really help her. She's just so far behind. Even if we gank it, we're basically trying to solo this bed Zed. And it's just not going to work. Looks like Nunu's bot. I have my R. We can wreck him. Mastery hard counters Nunu. And fights. Like Nunu can't CC him. That's not great though. Should be able to counter gank this. They're kind of low. I assume they're going to stay with the wave and push. We're going to have to wait a while, which sucks. For every second, we're not getting a kill. The Blanc's trying to... <laughs> Uh, trying to match the Zed. This is taking forever. I'm sitting on our own pink ward, so I know this isn't worded. Yeah, this isn't going to lead to anything. Or is it? They're not reacting. Got it. It's actually really good for us. I'm going to push past my golems and go for our blue buff. There's a high chance Nunu's going to try to steal it when he saw me bot. So I'll run past wraps. Go grab blue. Gromp. We're in a decent spot to carry this. The hardest thing is going to be the Zed. He's our main obstacle this game. It's pretty slippery to kill. Especially if he's full HP. Just dashing around. Even if I pinch off a few autos. I'll need more than a few to kill him at full HP. Got blue buff. We're gonna go ahead and grab the Gromp now. Looks like Nunu's over there. Still, our vision ward, our control ward is gonna bring us a lot of value. I assume Malphite doesn't have R because Mundo burned his R. So I can't imagine Mundo needing to use his R, except for if Malphite used his R on him. Hopefully, I'm correct. Otherwise, Malphite's gonna get away. Malphite's reacting. Yeah, there's no way I can kill this guy. They just meditated the turret shot. Oh yeah, he actually did have his R, who would have guessed? I flashed away right as I came out of Q. I flashed immediately, so he, he didn't like react. He was kind of confused. It looks like Zed's bot lane. Uh, Nunu's already taken his red buff, so this whole area is probably down. His raptors, everything. Uh, I could probably go for that uh, Rift Herald. I think we could grab that. Oh, if I don't got me there. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we pinched. That would have been a pivotal play if we, if, if I died there and Malphite lived. That would have pretty much been GG with how the rest of the map is going. We definitely needed that. And Nunu's over here for some reason. Oh, he's got he's got my burn on him, but I don't think we can keep up with him. He's really, really fast with that phase rush. He he keeps 
walking into us at these really weird times. Like I was halfway done and he randomly just showed up. This dude is kind of annoying. All right, we've got our dust blade. Like Forrest Gump, dude. He's, he's everywhere you don't want him to be. Let's go pick up those golems. LeBlanc's in some deep trouble here. Looks like she's going to be able to slither her way out of that one. Looks like my bot, ooh, my bot lane has some prio. I could potentially go for dragon. I do have full item advantage. I might be able to kill Zed. I don't know why he's building what he's building. So I've, you don't usually see Zed rush the last whisper like that. It's kind of strange. I gotta go mid, save the turret while LeBlanc is up there. Zed might actually rotate bot here. I'm gonna have to go bot. Looks like they got the Kog'Maw on my R's coming up. Just let him walk into me. Hit him with my E. Get turn on my R. Q. I tried to meditate the ZR damage, but I couldn't just sit there and hold it because he would have blasted me. At least we got the new, but this Zed's tough. We're gonna go for plated steel caps. Even on Lethality Assassin Master Yi, you don't have to go Berserker Greaves. Berserker Greaves aren't typically the the right option for Master Yi since you're going to be attack speed overfilling at some point since attack speed only goes up to 2.5 per second. Our next item after Dust Blade is uh, you can usually go for more Lethality. Against what they have, Rage Blade wouldn't be bad here. Or I could just rush straight into Steric. Sterics wouldn't be bad either. Anything that gives damage is a good option we could go bork sterix another lethality item you don't typically want to go navari quick blades until you have one other crit item otherwise it's just kind of wasted navari quick blades is pretty good on you though if you're going assassin kind of like i'm going here we're gonna have to delay it though but we're gonna have to get either rage we'll probably go rage blades since they have triple tank I'm hoping his R's on cooldown. He is ridiculously mobile and LeBlanc is running the wrong way. I'd probably just die here, honestly. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That makes me sad that we couldn't kill the Zed there. I trade my R for his R, but that was my worry with the mid lane is if I'm ganking for this LeBlanc. I know it's just a 1v1, me versus Zed. And Zed's built up such a gold lead. We've healed up quite a bit off of our red buff. We can Q the Nunu to dodge the Blitzcrank knockup and the Nunu knockup. We need to be careful. I don't know if Blitzcrank hook is up. Zed's that definitely didn't hit me though. Gonna meditate that shot. I could have taken turret if we really wanted to dive both. Zed's still mid lane. We might be able to get this Blitzcrank. It's just running away. I need my... Uh, I need Sweeper to check, the, check this bush. Alright, it's not worded. Kaisa's gonna run down here. Dodge the turret shot. Also stay on top of her. Meditate the turret shot. I'll just heal up off of that. Lots and lots of damage. If you've noticed, whenever you get a killer assist with Dust Blade, it turns you invisible. It's very nice. If you're under turret, the turret will reveal you. So in that particular case, it didn't really help me. But we'll get some value out of it here soon. Nunu must be here if this guy's going to chase me like this. They can't run me down. Mastery has really high base movement speed. Zed's going to rotate on this. LeBlanc's dead again. Nunu's going to get Dragon, of course. Ooh, that's fantastic. Well played, Kog'Maw. We really needed that. <laughs> we needed something, bro. We're going to try to farm it up and play around our ultimate. Master Yi, he is a scaling champion. As long as you don't die before you're level 6 and you can hit level 6 before the 8 minute mark, you're looking good. Hit level 6 at the 6 minute mark to 7.30 and uh, you'll be in a pretty good spot to carry there's very few champions who can fight you when you have your ultimate 1v1. It's mainly just champions trying to run away like the Zed. Just simply trying to flee from you. 
Uh, armor armor champions are annoying until you have rage blade like malphite's gonna be an issue with your e true damage once you have rage blade you slice through them regardless i'm gonna just cover for the turret mundo's in a really weird spot yeah, he's trying to give up he's invading their jungle like randomly and he dies and then tries to surrender that was a Normally when you invade, you want to make sure you have lane prio so you can do so safely. And normally you want to be the jungler so you have smite. It's rare to see top laners just invade when they have no prio. Just randomly run into the enemy's jungle. We, we unfortunately have to go for rage blade at this point. I would like to just get uh, HP or more lethality, but uh, their triple tank is forcing me to... Which is an option with uh, Lethality, Assassin, Master Yi, is Rage Blade is still a good option. Since it synergizes so hard with your passive in your E, it's never really a bad item on Master Yi, regardless of what you're building. Our win condition is basically me and Kog'Ma. If, uh, if me and Kog'Ma can survive their initial all-in, we should be able to shred their whole team. Our lose condition is that just one-shotting Kog'Ma. If he does that, we're in trouble. I used my Q while he was in the middle of his R. That's why you don't Q early. So as he starts dashing away, you hover your mouse on him, or you could even hover your mouse in front of him to do it in time. Just like that. Let's crank's gonna walk into me. Activate my E, red smite him. Q to dodge the new new snowball. Q on the Kai'Sa. Oh, I I didn't kill Zed. He had like 10 HP. Maybe LeBlanc can pinch. Like if she can dash ignite him or something. That's a shame. We got a couple of kills. But as you can see, it's... Uh, the passive on your ultimate's really useful. Whenever you get a killer and assist, it reduces your abilities cooldown by 70%. So as I was popping those kills on Blitzcrank, I went invisible off the Dustblade for a second and a half, and then by that time my Q's up, then I can auto attack then Q. Whenever you need a pinch of damage, a little bit extra, auto then Q, and your Q will dodge their auto attack or whatever ability they're throwing at you. I think we're gonna go for uh, Steric Gauge at this point. Steric or Dead man's would be very good here. It's primarily the Zed causing the issues. Hopefully Kog'Maw doesn't take all my camps. He's just taking the red buff. It's probably better on me right now, to be honest. Zed can get to him really easily to where... Normally you want to give it to your range champ, but... It's only the Zed. That's the reason why. I'll wait for them to invade. They may think our red buff's up. Or we could go kill Kaisa bot side. She'll probably just keep pushing. She has a pretty big wave too, it's likely. Remember, you want to get to them typically before you use your Q. That way, uh, if they flash after, you can keep up with them. So I, there, I can no longer reach her with my auto attacks. And she'd used her dash, so I'm just going to hit her with the Q. Same with Malphite. I'm going to use my autos until he R's, and then I'll use my Q to keep up with him. Because it attaches you. Ooh, Zed's looking strong. He's looking really scary. He's two levels up on me and he has a uh, edge of night. I'm gonna have to buy more armor for sure. He has triple lethality. I need just a little bit more so he's not doing true damage to me. I'm not sure where Zed's at right now, but uh, I'm hoping he's not top because he can one shot the Kog'Maw. Yeah, you guessed right. Kog'Maw should be able to shred these tanks. Uh, I'm really hoping Zed's R is on cooldown. I know it's on a low cooldown. But, uh... I have a feeling it's back up now. My Q AoE killed the... I have to get to the Kai'Sa right now or I'm gonna die. Got the kill. We need to keep moving to the right side over here. Zed's not following. This is a dragon opportunity for us. I might actually die here. Nah, we can just meditate it. 
but uh, we do need to get to the dragon. Zed's coming as well. Nunu's on his way. There's no fruits for me to eat. This sucks. <laughs> I can't. I can't even do it now. Hopefully, my team forms up on it. Should be able to heal up a bit off of our ravenous hunter. Looks like we got Nunu R. Kog'Maw's gonna get that kill. That's fantastic. This is exactly what we needed. It's really important they don't get any more dragons. If they get Dragon Soul, it's gonna be we, we won't be able to come back. Nice, I got the Nami Hill. I'm gonna queue the Kaisa. Oh my god, I, di I didn't see Zed because he was invisible too. I should have queued sooner. I, I forgot that Zed had Dust Blade, so I thought he teleported back to his R or something. But uh, he was really just standing on top of me, waiting for his W to come off a of cooldown. If I would have queued the Blitzcrank, I probably would have ended up surviving for long enough to kill him. Or at the very least, setting the situation up better for my teammates. We are going to grab a Sterix. Can't quite afford it yet. Can get most of it though. 200 gold off. Losing this dragon is just... Like, it's not game over for us, but if they get the next one after this, that's Dragon Soul. Once you get the, the fourth one you get. They get the next one, it's going to make the game challenging. It won't be too hard for me to still kill people, but it's mainly going to make their tanks hard to kill since they'll be healing so much. Especially if they end up getting a Spirit Vistage. That's two levels up on me. Jeez, that's rough. I can pretty much one shot Kai, so she needs an hourglass. The only AD carries that really counter Master Yi is stuff like Kaisa, because she can build hourglass and that scales off of her abilities, because Kaisa scales off of AP and AD. Oh no. LeBlanc's stressing me out, dude. I'm worried about what she's trying to do here. We could go for a split push. I'm, I don't want to sh necessarily show on the map right now, because then they could engage on my team. It's the only reason is just that's so big. I'll just meditate it. Now keep in mind, Zed's R is on a very, very low cooldown. He has a bunch of ability haste, and he also has ult ultimate hunter most likely. So, uh, yeah, I, I kind of don't want to give this a Kogma. Feels like a waste as if Zed kills him because I can survive for a lot longer than he can with my meditate. His R is definitely back up. So let me queue him. There's actually no way to keep up with that champ. It's so annoying. I, w I really wish Blitzcrank Hook landed on me. I would have killed them all. Yeah, Zed, man, that champion just doesn't feel balanced. He's just so slippery. Like, I know I'm saying that as Master Yi, but we already all know Master Yi's overpowered. Zed's just like that hidden gem. His team's not very good. His team's making it pretty tough for them. Q on top of him. See, I don't die. It's, it's so strong. because you're you, They can't hurt you when you're in your Q. They can't target you. And uh, when you come out of a kill or assist, going invisible for a second half off a of dust blade, you're basically impossible to target. Super, super slippery. I think we have this game by the balls now. I don't think they can come back after that. That was a massive gold swing. We got a bunch of shutdowns. We're gonna get barren. Uh, there's a lot of experience killing champions, especially in the mid late game, gives a lot of XP. In an amazing spot. We just have to not let them get Dragon Soul, and then we're good to go. I'll catch this way from Kaisa if Kogma doesn't. Steric Gauge, we can get that. And then, uh, like I said, even though their team's AP heavy, Blitzcrank, Nunu, and Malphite are all AP. Plus, Kaisa has some AP damage, and she can only build some AP items later in her build. The thing is, their most fed champions right now, which is Zed, is like full AD. Dead man's would give us a massive leg up on him, or we could run him down with our movement speed. That's what we're gonna be doing. 
he is their win condition right now for the next eight minutes or so until the rest of his team catches up. So we've got 5% movement speed off a of winged moon plate. And we've got some chain vest flat armor. So with all of his three lethality items, I have more armor than he has now in terms of lethality. Not sure where he's at. Oh, he's right here. I think he just missed his dash, I can't tell. No, he's just wasting my R. Damn, I didn't think Kaisa was still over here too. That sucks, I got outplayed. I got baited and outplayed. Hopefully my team wins mid lane. I don't think they can kill Kog'Maw without Zed on the bright side, so. And I think in a weird way we actually win that conflict. Biggest counters to Master Yi is Hourglass Mages. Knockups. Knockups like Zakar. And uh, champions that have multiple dashes that are hard to connect with, like Zed dashes. They're, they're so fast. They're basically blinks to where I have to predict he's going to dash. And then he has to dash even seeing that I'm queuing on top of him. It's very, uh, it's, it's like 80% favored for him in terms of me not attaching to him since he has several different jump locations one off of his original r location and one off of his uh i believe it's his e kais is kind of catching back up now really want this dragon really don't want to give it zed's going for it right now i know i can solo him the problem is, is if kais is there or something Plus, Zed just wastes my R with his R, and his R is on a stupidly low cooldown as well. That's just obnoxious. <sighs> There's nothing I can do about it either. He's just going to keep doing Zed things. Got it. Yeah, I, I died, but I got the dragon. That was really important. If they got that dragon, that would have been sold for them. So I'll take it. I had to rush it down since Zed has high movement speed. He has movement speed items. And obviously his R is on a 20 second cooldown because why not? I just can't. I can't even run at him, dude. I just got to take the dragon. Hopefully my team can survive. His R is up again, by the way. It's, should be at least. Zed, you guys can check the stats, but uh, with building so much ability haste and having ultimate hunter. Yeah, he has 75 ability haste. That's nearly 50% cooldown reduction. Kog'Maw got all in, of course. I might be able to come out. I'm going to have to buy an elixir if we're going to have a chance at this. At the very least, Zed's low, so it's going to be hard for them to finish pushing it in. Nice pick from the LeBlanc. Nice, nice, fantastic LeBlancs. Starting to uh, redeem yourself a little bit. Starting to pull some weight. They're just gonna run away. We'll push the wave in. Even against tanks, Lethality Master, you can do well. They just need at least one squishy for you to go for. If their whole team's tanky, then I would recommend Kraken Slayer instead for the true damage. Go ahead and shove this in. We don't have many minions though. Go ahead and take the inhib. It's very frustrating how much damage Zed does. I couldn't even press Q. I was just getting CC'd. Between the Nunu knockup, Nunu snare, the Blitz silence, Blitz hook, and Blitz knockup, I just couldn't move. That was a huge overstay on our part. That might be game. Because that's ultimate, it's going to be up in about 13 seconds. And then he can one-shot the Kog'Ma. Damn. We took a lot more damage than I thought we would take there. Because we had our Asterix gauge. Damn. Yeah, he's just doing so much damage. Good job by the Kog'Ma. He's about to get picked. He needs to push forward away from our base to draw them away. Looks like Nunu's going for Baron. They should, they should just go for the end though, honestly. 
I'm still, uh, this head's been full build for like the past 10 minutes. I'm still missing a full item and a half. I'm uh, about 500 gold off. Looks like they're gonna get the Baron. Doesn't matter that much. That's not their win condition. Their win condition is just one shot in Kog'Maw or killing me. Zed's level 18. He's gonna start to fall off at some point as we catch up. As we get more and more levels, me and my team. Oh yeah, I like that. Damn. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I don't know what that was for. The enemies already had uh they've already killed Nami and then Mudo runs in after they've taken Baron like six seconds ago for some reason. I'm gonna have to kill him early. That still hit me, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's GG, I think. Unless Kogma can do something crazy here. It's, oh. All right, maybe it's not. That was insane. That was a really good play by LeBlanc. She baited Zet into the turret and landed her snare. Mal to be fair, Malphite doesn't have his R. It might be hard for the enemies to end here. I don't think they can end now. Wow. I just really wish we could get the rest of our items. We don't have much time to farm our camps with the way these fights are going. Dragon's up in 40 seconds. This is still winnable for us. We just have to keep catching up. As we all catch up in levels to Zed, he'll start falling off more and more. Can nearly afford my dead man's plate. Pinging the dragon, so we're all hopefully on the same page. Get my dead man's plate. Yeah, that flash I did was really bad. I was trying to flash the new snowball. I couldn't get out of its way. I needed a few more autos for Q reset and then I could finish off the Malphite. You see how he's full armor though? Malphite has three huge armor items. But since we have our Rage Blade, we're still slicing through him. I have to use Q to get to her here. That's GG. That is GG, friends. He's not even going to be able to kill me. Oh my god. We went from literally lost to now we win. All because of that good LeBlanc Kog'Ma play. But you see how just fast Zed is? It's insane. Zed makes a dead man's play ultimate Master Yi look like a, a Nivea. Super slow. Wiped the wave. Looks like he just ended up resetting. Oh, we can just end it. It doesn't matter. And that's GG, guys. That's how you play some Lethality Master Yi. Remember, it plays best against Squishies. If they have two or more tanks, you should consider going on Hit Master Yi. Regardless, though, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.